afternoon, good evening. It's great to be back in your company here. My name is Max K. You better stay call me Max K Mixer. I thank all of you uh, for joining in. Uh, please also share the video. Okay, we're just about to watch uh, uh, some some uh, documentaries. Eh? as well Bakedu uh, the district of Bakedu uh, from four year district okay, let me see how's up to all of you uh, from uh Wadu Bonde uh, chief down there uh, from Bakedu uh, Kulamu district to start the show anyway what a way to introduce the uh, the show to you this afternoon it's great to be in your company uh, this saturday uh, from where i sit and broadcast the time is about seven minutes to three o'clock it's seven minutes to two o'clock in liberia and it's covid at uh, p.m as we continue the quest uh, for uh, let's say seeking justice for mama liberia We're going to kick the ball rolling this afternoon. We have with, uh, with, an, with an interview uh, by Senator Prince Johnson right after the TROC hearing. Uh, his response uh, to the um, to the TROC and the questions that the journalists uh, actually posed to him, and then from there there is the latest video. It's online. Uh, well, you can only buy it to view, but uh, because I bought it, I want to show it. I want to share it with you guys, those of you on my platform. Uh, it's called uh, Camp Seventy Two. Camp Seventy Two was uh, it's a documentary uh, with respect to life and struggle during the uh, during and of course uh, after the Civil War in Liberia. Uh, we're going to watch it and. Probably um, some of you might have seen a little portion of it. Uh, this is on sale only. But since uh, I bought it for this purpose, I told you once that today I was trim it on my channel here. Um, and then after, if there is any little bit of time where I'll open the line so that I can hear your view with respect to whatever you're going to follow through in the documentary. Uh, specifically, the documentary is about uh, the civil war in Liberia. And of course, the quest for justice as well. Because uh, so many of us uh, are still uh, pushing for uh, this government, this administration, uh, to accept our request. Uh, for justice in Liberia, that all those uh, who are named in the um, in the TRC are brought to justice. Maybe even those that are, that names are not, are not mentioned, but we do know them that they participated in the war. They can also be brought to justice. Especially those that are still passing around and they are boastfully and remorsely saying that they, whatever they did to us, whatever they did to this nation, they did it for a just cause. But I keep asking people, like a guy who said one time under my, under my post, uh, which of course I have, to, I have to even block him as quickly as possible. That the war, war in Liberia was necessary. That's what the guy said. 
the Liberian, I think, that the war, the senseless, the madness that took place in our land was necessary. I just decided this, these are not individuals that I can keep on Facebook as friends or on all, any social media. You will have said something else, fine. But you would have just said, well, for me, I don't, you know, I don't stand for the call for the establishment of war and economic crimes code for Liberia. Fine. But to come out and shout out loudly on the international platform and say that the war, the senseless war that took place in Liberia, the madness that took place in Liberia, that these individuals carried in Liberia is justifiable and was necessary. I don't keep you on my platform. I tell you goodbye. Maybe except you come, you go and create another different or maybe uh, account, and just because you want to come and provoke me on my on my platform, and you can come again and send me a friend request, and I, I accept it. You can go and do it. But by the time that guy said that, you know, blood was boiling in me. It was like the civil war started yesterday. It was like he started another civil war. Tell him. Using those words on my post that the war was necessary. I was just wondering whether he knew he knew the meaning of necessary. And so we uh go in, in a quest. Uh, let me first of all pay uh, a respect to all of you that are championing for uh, for this quest in, in search of uh, in search of what would say um, justice for those that are voiceless even when i made a post or maybe somebody made a you know put something out there and you say and they post says we want justice for liberia if you like it if you if you if you choose that um that emotion and express likes or love on that post you are a campaigner for social justice if you if you comment and you say i support the establishment of war and economic crimes go for liberia you are an advocate of social justice. People like you, we want on board. It means that number one, you never participated in the war. You never, you were, you, you, you was never recruited in a way and you were told to go and behead somebody. You were told to go and open the stomach of that pregnant woman. That is why you are saying that, yes, me, I want this to be done in Liberia. But all those, I keep saying that, all of those that are standing in the way of justice right now, but those innocent souls that were lost in, our, in Liberia, for our land to have been destroyed as it is right now, these are individuals. Those are individuals are actually standing in the way of justice. They are the one. And I will keep saying it, I will say it loud. Whether you are a minister or you are you are serving in the government as a representative or a senator, whatever capacity, whether you are a citizen, just a common citizen. When you stand in the way of what we are calling for, you are the true enemy of the state. You are the true enemy of the state. Not the advocates. Not those that are calling for it. Not those that are calling for the punishment of those that are causing this nation to be 
I mean, stranded the way it is. We are just standing still. This nation is just standing still. We are not moving. The captain is not moving the ship anywhere. And this ship will not move anywhere by any captain unless we bring justice for those innocent souls. Their curse is on us as a nation. Their curse is on us as a nation. Their souls has never rested. Don't make any mistake and you say, oh yeah, their souls have rested. No. They stay running around, moving around Liberia, moving around the nation and telling us that we are hurt. We need our soul to be rested in peace. But we're not taking note. Every day we put in prayer, prayer, prayer band together and we go into half cruises. We go into the monks and pray and pray and pray that we want the nation to move forward and whatsoever. But because we haven't done the right thing, my people, whatever prayer we are putting in, whatever time and energy we are putting in, going to the mosque, going to the church, a day and night, it's not going to work. Because we started this. Right when the war came in Liberia, I was there. For 10 years, I, I was as a, as, a, as a young man. 10 years. I graduated from high school in the midst of the war in 1994. Right in the city center. The city of Monrovia. We were praying in day and night. Churches, people were going in and spending sometimes a week, a whole week. Our parents were praying for those that couldn't make it to go to church. Yes, they were doing it at home. In communities, they would meet and have a, a prayer that this war should come to an end and whatever. At the same time, the carnage continues. Because they were still lying to us. You stop praying. You stop fasting. We are bringing freedom to you people. We are bringing freedom to the land. You stop the prayers. You stop the fasting. The freedom we are bringing to you people. You will enjoy this nation. This nation will be like milk and honey. Oh yes. The John F. Kennedy Memorial Hospital. The state it is in right now. Where people are coming from all part of West Africa and coming to have a medical attention there, it will be more than that, that people from Europe will be coming in Liberia to access medical in Liberia at the JFK. That's what they told us. Yes, at the time they told us that indeed the University of Liberia, the University of Liberia, that yes, you only have few students coming from Sierra Leone, coming from Guinea, coming from the Africans to come and study to learn English or whatsoever, to get to have a degree from Liberia. And they to all that the freedom we are bringing to you, we are going to make improvement in, in education and we are going to put Liberia University, the University of Liberia, to the standard of Harvard or Harvard. That people will leave from the from the from the from all part of the world in Europe, in America, in Asia also, and they will come to the University of Liberia. That's the that is the freedom we are bringing to you. Indeed, that is what they told us. That is what they told our people, our fathers and our mothers. And some for some of them, they were able to convince them. And they started forcefully recruiting the, the children, uh, babies. How can you recruit an uh, eight year old child and giving them an AK-47? The gun is even taller than them. And you give it to them, you say, hold this. And you teach them how to just shoot the human being. And you say, you are, that is the freedom you are bringing. And giving it to that child to drive it.
and you took away. And by the time you brought that freedom now, where University of Liberia was at least well respected in the sub region, now today is no longer. When our children graduate from high school, if there is any way they can go to Freetown, Sierra Leone, they can go to Accra, Ghana, they can go to Nigeria to study the, for further education, they would rather take that route in, instead of staying in the country to say they are going to their number one university in the country, which is the University of Liberia. That's the freedom you brought to us. You brought it down to zero. That today, from kindergarten all the way to high school, it's a mess. A whole nation. A whole, the whole nation sending students, high school students, to go and sit a national exam. And you want to tell me 10 students, 10 students. Only 10 students came on top. And you say you brought freedom to us? Is that the top of freedom? I'm going to take this call and then from there we'll go straight to um, we'll go straight to Ma Sarah Son Johnson. Okay, I love your name. Let me see whether we can take Ma Sarah. Son Johnson, I think your first time. I'm going to take thank you. That's all we can get, Master Son Johnson. I say it's adding, so let's give it all. Declined. What happened? Why you declined? I don't have any idea. My steroid son Johnson. Where is the my steroid son Johnson? Trying to add you up. Uh, please bear with me a little bit. We're trying to add this uh, brother. Not going to decline again. Let me cue the. Let me cue the documentary. We will start with Prince Johnson. Yeah. Uh, morning, my brother. All right. Let me carry volume up a little bit. Ah, uh, my, my brother, how you doing, Mr. Johnson? Good day. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, I know it's morning to your, to your end, but here in the UK, it's, uh, three, it's already 3.10 here this afternoon. I know, right? I know, right? Yeah. That's the wonders yeah. of God anyway. My man, brother, welcome to the show. Uh, I'm just trying to introduce you, uh, but we're coming to watch your documentary anyway. But uh, welcome to the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I must partly, you know, appreciate you for your service. You know, mm -hmm. these things, we in the diaspora we we do these things but people feel that you know it's not worth it but it's worth it that you know people get to know these things yeah, thank you. and I, as a former student leader for my country uh, in the diaspora you know there are series of disagreement and series of problems like Liberian you know undergoing uh, have gone through and people yeah. take it to be a, a, you know of no issues but it's very, it's very important. For example, you were just discussing the issue of student taking, and, you know, national exam, and only ten percent was able to be, uh, you know, a top of it. Yes, but the problem had been people being unprepared of certain things, and you did not prepare yourself, and you expect to get the, the accident of what you did not prepare yourself for. Mm -hmm. So. You see, uh, when I was in Liberia, I, I spoke with the former minister, George Warner. It was not appropriate. That is a fine program, but it was not appropriate for the Liberian educational sector because we never had the requisite uh, tools and materials to get these children 
as compared to other countries that we want to be on path with. So yeah. what, what you need to do for it is to build the system, create the avenue, prepare the children. Even public schools don't even have a good laboratory. Do you expect the children mm -hmm. to go and experiment from the blue from the blue from the blue moon? No, it's not possible. Good question. So build the structure, build the criteria. There are a lot of high schools. It's good to have a lot of private high schools, but the government should have a standard before you have a public high school. But even the public high school don't have that standard. So who are you going to tell in the private sector? So government need to start creating that avenue, create subsidies for private schools. This also help. Yeah. So we were not prepared for the national exam. And then my tip on the, on the World Crown Court, my mm -hmm. brother, even God himself, Say there is no sin, go unpunished. Yeah. You can repent, but you will be you you will have a reward of your sin. You saw you, you saw people, you saw Paul. Before Paul could repent, come to to uh, into gospel, satisfying the gospel, you saw his former life. And how mm -hmm. did Paul die? How did he die? So people need to understand they are they are responsible for their actions. There's no issue about impunity. Let me tell you, when you have conflict and people don't resolve their conflict and people don't, it's not responsible or held reliable for their actions, brother. That consistent pain going to be on the other side. Yeah. Because it's like you look at me and slap my face, mm -hmm. and and then our dad said that, oh my man, I'm sorry. And, and things then. But the, the real thing is you shouldn't slap my face. So my our dad should be able to punish you for slapping my face. So you can't do it to another person another mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that is the logical point around we we we, we are not a, we 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 want to break into conflict. No. People of Sierra Leone now enjoying peace. They they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> they're yeah. Investigating people that are responsible for the crisis. Yeah. They didn't bring no conflict. So you want to bring conflict? See right now what's happening right now, uh, with the issue of uh, uh, justice and uh, you know China. It's because yeah. people are trying to, because people feel that uh, it's one person be tackered there, so other people will, will stand again because you're not unilaterally taking this decision in yeah, terms of involving everybody. Do not go yeah. after one person. The House of Representatives should be telling us that yes. Yeah, we approve, we, we, we're passing a bill that the World Crown Court should be accepted in Liberia instead of targeting one person. Because you put them into one basket. If you feel Justice Daniel was part of the, the process and he, he created he created a lot of problems, put them in one basket. All of them will be we are. He That's it. Yeah. You don't have to talk that people. Don't, don't, yeah, don't create the problem to be like you're targeting one person. No. That's create it. the issues that everybody will you will confirm that be inside the basket and you don't have to have an escape route. Nobody going to tell you that this thing, you're hunting somebody from Nima County. This no. thing, you're hunting somebody from Grand Gita County. This thing, you're hunting somebody from Grand Basel. It is about Liberia. It is not about, it is not about uh, uh, individual. Mm, so mm. Liberia themselves need to understand that people who did bad to us, you know how many, you know how many problems the civil class have, created for us, you know the kind of step back, you know the kind of pain, the kind of womb in our life. I stood, I stood right in front of my dad when, when, when somebody naked my dad right in front of me. <clears throat> and and that, that's a that's a internal pain. Yeah. Emotionally, my dad passed off, but if I said thing of somebody that like, shouldn't do that to my dad because he have arm, they still play on me. So if I see the perpetrator being brought to book, that will bring relief to me. That's it. Yeah. You know, so Johnson, just, uh, just, before, just before you go, the last time, I think that was last month when I was holding the same discussion, um, uh, a fellow was uh, called from Liberia and he said, uh, you know, uh, the, the guy, you know, for me, I want, uh, uh, I just want to leave it as it is uh, so we can, we can move on with life. Even though the, the person who killed my father right before me, I see him mo moving up and down. Every day we can meet, but uh, if I see him coming from the distance, I take different routes. 
because I don't want to meet him and see him and remember about my, the way he killed my dad or so. And then I asked him, I said, but I mean, does that mean you have forgiven him? He said, yeah, I've forgiven him. But I said, but how would you forgive him? Then when you see him coming in a distance, you take different routes. Exactly. This is why we are calling that. Let us find, if we, if we can find means, let that person come right before you. Let the day in Freetown. In Freetown, I, I got a lot of documentaries on, on Freetown. They have gone back to their villages. Lie down, even lie down on the floor, under the people. Some of them, they are sitting there. They, 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 they who did the thing. In their own villages, they, they went and killed, they killed people there. And they knew them. They're coming back now to, to go down on their knees and begging also. So I said, but this is not forgiveness, then, because if you forgive somebody, you can see them coming towards you and you're taking different routes. Exactly. Sure. So, don't see, thank you. Let, 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 me, let me take another call, then we can watch the document, documentary. Yeah. Thank you so much, brother. Yeah, I, I appreciate it so much. Continue to go, right. brother. All right. That's that, brother. Uh, don't see there. Uh, I mean, he, he, made, he made some uh, salient points as well. Uh, Stanley George, Stanley, I don't know, are you. I can't see you on my on my radar. So Stanley, if you can call, that would be great. I will take you. Yeah, I can't I can't see you. Melina Jones, let me see what I can um connect with Melina. Uh, she's one of the um uh, community development worker in Liberia. I work with one with for her uh, NGO. Uh, Melinda, uh, she been She's been around working hard in in communities across Liberia as well. Let's see whether we can get Melinda. Uh, Jones this afternoon. It's they saying Arden. If we don't get Melinda, I guess this George is calling now. We go to George and take George because uh, we're going to hear from Prince Johnson right after Prince Johnson. We will uh, watch the documentary for the first time. Probably, I will push the documentary to next week. I think I will just open the lines, then we discuss about the the establishment of war and economic crimes code for Liberia. Uh, this is still taking some time. Okay, uh, we can't get any answer from Mel Be Melinda. Let me see. Let's approve uh, Stanley. Let's see what we can get. We can get Stanley. All right, we got Stanley George uh, now. Uh, all right, uh, viewer, especially for those of you that are listening uh, via the radio, uh, Buzz Media International, um, we stay continuing here with the discussion. I will announce the, the, the number later on so you can call. Let's go now to George. Mr. George, good afternoon from my end. Uh, uh... Good morning. Good morning. I can say because I'm, I'm still in the morning here anyway. It's just like uh, 10, 20 in the morning. Okay. All right. Oh, that's good. Okay. Welcome to the show, buddy. All right. Thanks for your uh, accepting me, Rada. You know, I, 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 I appreciate, you know, your show. Because mm, thank you. We, we as Liberians, there are things, there are issues that uh, we should voice out and we should keep talking about it. And I think we will have some results in, at the end. Though it may not happen very quick, but we will. Yeah. Oh. With the issue of the education, like uh, the previous person just said, you know, Liberia, the system that we have is of no good. And like the past president said, it is a mess. Well, what she did as an educator, someone that went to one of the higher institutions in America, she did nothing to improve mm -hmm. it. So these are people who brought suffering to the, to the nation, destroyed the fabric of the nation, and sit there and make mockery because it's, it's, it, 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 it is a, a mockery that you made out of your own country. Because yeah. These are people who they never rested. They want their power by hook or crook. <laughs> yeah. And they got it. And then sit there and say, oh, the educational system is a mess. It's a mess. Complete mockery. 
You're making it out of your own country. As a little girl, you went to school in Liberia. You obtained the best education in Liberia. Mm -hmm. And you went outside, you demonstrated it. Now you are a president for the, the country that you once saw being, being nice. And then you sit there and say, it is a mess. Complete mockery that she made out of herself. You see? So we, 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 need, we need system that we will set up to have our fabric, the, the fabric of, of, of the educational system back. Because mm -hmm. like we don't want a, 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 a country that, that had a vibrant uh, 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 educational system. Yeah. You see? So uh, 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 that's my point on the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the educational okay. system. Now I, I go back to the war crime code. Okay. We all need justice. Justice has to be done. People cannot go with impunity. People cause harm to people. I was a little boy when I walk him during 1990. I have to walk. Okay? Hmm. And even in that point, we were chased by AFL. Hmm. Because my mom, my, my, my mom from, from, from the Mana tribe at the time. Hmm. She, she, she is from the Mana tribe. Okay? We were chased. But it was just by the grace of God that we, we got saved from the, from the guys. Yeah. Hmm. Just by the grace of God. Okay, people have committed a lot of atrocities. And and I mean like 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 people saying, like she said rather, I I, I gave ten thousand dollars. You did you give the ten thousand for humanitarian purpose? No. Mm -hmm. You should not. Even with the TRC report that came out, because those particular of the war, they were in permanent position. They yeah. could not accept they could not accept the result or, or the result of TRC. If there were different yeah. people, there, there were different people in government at the time when that TRC report came away, there was no particular of the war in the government. I'm telling you, no. that report was going to be implemented. Yeah. If not, maybe because you know Liberia has the uh, has the, uh, the 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 record of culture of impunity. That is sometimes because I'm, I'm tired to something or uh, that's my friend, or whatever. Yeah. We try to cover up people. Now it's this case now with, with Justice Janet. Now. Just to, I just want to make a correction on what, what my brother just left. He said, uh, Justice Janet, the situation that he having right now with the House, it's not about a war crime court. I strongly believe Justice Janet did wrong to some people. The lady, the 90 years old woman, that he took her land. How can a four years old child be an administrator at a time for his father's property. In no way yeah, yeah. it happen. That's there impossible. Are yeah, there are procedures. If you are going to be an administrator for your for your father's property, you cannot be four years old. Then he he put, he make you to be an administrator that is put everything into your, into your name. It is hard. That is mm. one point. The second point has to do with the case of I think other or 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 or. or Austin Clark or, 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 or Emmett, he twisted justice because he failed, he, he had power, and then he was bribed. Another situation with, uh, I think, a Lawani, a man that opened a, 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 a prostitution a place and took people from, from, from Egypt and brought them and make, uh, make them out of sex slaves. When that case came out, he twisted justice again. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me, let me leave, let me leave the aspect of him being part of the war that is learned. Let me, let me take that aside. But look at those things that he did to the people. Your own people. In that case, about the man, uh, money or, or whatever, that now, there was, it was a defamation of character by, by Echo Bank. But I believe that that thing was a setup to just, you know, get that man out of business. Okay? How can someone pay you off and not just ten dollar or five dollar, and you are a noble institution and don't have record on it. No. After you just destroy the main character, then you say, "Oh, I didn't know that." Yeah, the man pay off, or uh, pay off, pay, 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 pay the loan off. Are you serious? Are you serious? Because, or 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 ever bang, no full aware that whatever they want to do, they can do it, and then get out out of it with ease. And there are people there to back them up, like Justin mm -hmm. Janet.
that what the yeah. jail for? Yeah. Okay. If yeah. we are crying now for war crime court in Liberia, and these are things that the people are putting up, saying that oh, this is what Justice Janet did, and he has to 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 to, to be impinged, then we stand against it. How do we? How do we? How can we call for war crime court? And when people are doing one, we try to 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 straighten it up. Then we say no. They be so you know. Like I listen to the, uh, 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 I listen to the 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 the, the, the uh, two members of the caucus from from Nima County. This is why one of them said, "Oh, you know the man, that middle-aged man, and you know when he when he, 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 he when he go out of job, what he going to get job?" I'm just paraphrasing, but that's what he said. Then the other man said, "No, the thing here, we got we should have handled it administrative way." Oh, so where were you guys at the time when the men were crying up and down over air and seeing all the things? Did you guys ever call just a Janet? You know, I mean, on, you know, on a friend of mine and a national that you yeah. call into someone into the yeah. house, on a friend of mine, I just say, oh, oh, my man, we heard some thing that going on. What is going on? And he said, I explained to you guys. Yeah. No, you never did it. But now he become a middle-aged man. Now he should have been a, 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 or uh, 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 handle a uh, uh, administrative way. Now it becoming a trial stuff. All oh, the men, the men, the men from the men, some Madingo men, so they trying to march them like this. That mm -hmm. where were you guys now when they thing were over air? This identical making over air on Costa show, and you cry out for help. Nobody ever listened Nobody. to him. Nobody. Nobody turned to him. Okay, now they are taking it. They are taking it as a, a, a party line being because you see the man, he part, he is a unity uh, partisan. So they are backing him up. What? What? How? 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 In the world, can we be like something like we be? We do anything like we insane. Just a Janet got to like we saying here. Just a Janet got to got to got uh, got to got to pay for his action. He got to be responsible for his action. Yeah. I like we are going to work back for people who committed crime. They should, they should be, they should, they should pay for the action. They should be responsible for the action. Yeah, I agree. If with we you. start blocking, if we start blocking the kind of thing, we say we don't. Uh, you need a man. The man this and that. We cannot have a work around court because that is the step towards work around court. And I'm even saying that there are there are a lot of things going on in, in, in the justice system. Some people are crying right now, but because they don't have the verse to come out, that you don't know it. That's true. Yeah, you don't yeah. know it. They just, yeah, they're just, just, they're just you just seen it. There are they're a lot of things. Look, the the, the, the the justice system in Liberia, it, it is a mess, it is it, rotten because people do things they go with impunity because they are kind of attached to people or attached one way or the other, they go with impunity mm. and people who who they, they marginalize go crying. All these things gotta be addressed. Sad man. So Liberia story is just it just it just sad, mm -hmm. and we just gotta keep praying and, and and you know keep praying and then they walk around quoting it gotta go in Liberia. No matter what happened, it gotta go. That's the only thank way you. that country will be, be straightened up. So thank you for your show. Thank you, thank you, George. Thanks so much. I, I mean, brilliant points there from uh, George. Uh, I mean, at, at the end of the day, <clears throat> you know, integrity. Integrity. Just did two days ago. A minister here, a, a lawmaker, resigned from the party he'd been in for 20 years. Resigned for a for a crime that he, he has been accused of five years ago. sexual harassment not even it has not even gone to court the lady just came over the case that five years ago he sexually harassed me see what society group took it asking him to step down the news took it in less than 24 hours, he himself resigned that he was stepping down because he do not want to distract the government functions. He do not want to distract his party. 
when will this happen in Liberia? When? Let's hear from Prince Johnson. Uh, once we hear from Prince Johnson, we'll continue to take your calls as well. Uh, so you can give your one or two cents uh, on the issue. But uh, let us talk about this. Um, let's continue to talk about this. Uh, uh, the establishment or the call for the establishment of war and economic crimes called for Liberia. What are your thoughts? What do you, what do you have for those that are still sit, sitting on the fence that are saying that, well, me, I don't know which way to go yet. Or what about, what what do you what advice do you add, uh, have for those that are saying, oh no, we don't want it because there there's no tangible excuse that they are giving or reasons they're giving for not wanting the establishment of war and economic crimes code for Liberia, or even for the the full implementation of the TRC recommendations. They don't want it. Such behavior like what this minister did here is also counted as corruption. You're using your position to corrupt other people. I see people resigning here, ministers resigning here, day by day on just small little thing. The former Prime Minister, when Tony Blair left, it was Gordon Brown. It's one, it was one of those that those things that actually kicked him out of, out of the office. The issue of immigration came, he went to this city to, uh, to talk to the people. He finished talking, he was just walking, so the lady just stopped him uh, and, and said, Oh, but Prime Minister, why are you allowing too many people from, uh, from, uh, from different, different parts of the world to come in the UK? You are not doing anything uh, for, uh, to control immigration. In a very low tone after he passed, I know some of the journalists then they have a very, very sensitive uh, microphones or so. He used the word begotted on the woman. Begotted. Boom. That one went in the air. The Prime Minister, the former Prime Minister, the Gordon Brown, he have the issue and an apology from there. That led to, led, led to him leaving the office. And the people, they always say, I am stepping down because I want to, I do not want to distract the government. I do not want to distract my party. In Liberia, we celebrate them. How can we say that we want to get rid of corruption in Liberia? But where, the, where corruption is embedded, we say that we are all interconnected. We are all related. So we shouldn't do anything about punishing people even if we know very, very well that they've been involved in corruption or corrupt acts. You see, um, President Muhammad Buhari always coming here because the united kingdom has been the route that all the past government officials or government or head of states and so they come in here they have their their offshore accounts is right here mm -hmm. they steal the money from nigeria they come here they open account and some of them buy properties or so but since buhari came to power about seven seventy More than seventy million dollars have been recovered. Huge sums from uh, former President Sonny Abacha. Not small money. 
you want to fight corruption, you have to set this, the, 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 you have to set the scene. In Sierra Leone right now, I can't lie to you. The guy that is controlling the anti-corruption unit there, let me put it that way. Oh yes, he's performing. Right now, as I speak to you, lots of guys are behind bars, caught red-handed. The passport service was, was in a picture last week. They arrested nearly six people from there. Right now, they are waiting court trial. Those ones, that, as far as employment is, is concerned, if they are found guilty, they're finished. Sierra Leone is not going to accept them any longer. The current president, Manda Bio, he's not joking. He's got the young, middle-aged girl, the lawyer. who actually in the right place at the right time. He said, we're not going to close any door on anybody. There's no closed door discussion. We will bring it to the public. When you are caught, you will be punished. When you are caught, we will ask you for what, what you stole from that ministry, from that agency, and we will get it back from you. If you put it in your property, you have any property, we will actually investigate that property, how you got it. If it, if it, if anything that we can confiscate that particular property for the government, we will do it. But in Liberia, we say we should celebrate them. Somebody will steal the money they're going abroad. They're going to open uh, some kind of supermarket, supermarket in different country, a hotel, a casino. And the name is mentioned that this person is involved in corruption at this ministry or agency. And we let go of them. They gone with the money. That's the government money. And the people money. And we say them, we say we want the country to move forward. Nobody. You will not be related to me if you are corrupt. No way. You are not my relative. And I can see, Mr. President, I will keep saying it, not in my name. Not in my name that we are related. I want them to be punished. When their names are mentioned, and indeed, they were involved in corruption, let us persecute them and bring them to justice. Prosecute them and charge them. If they found guilty, we should try hard to get our money back. And I can, the example that, that Sierra Leone, I mean, under this government, the example they're setting, because right now, even past government officials, they, they already, you know, on the whole waters there, including the former vice president. Most of them are waiting trial right now. How can we continue to celebrate people that actually, that are still causing this nation? A great deal. And we're going out there every day, we're begging for help. Your plea help us with a few bags of rice. We go, we go beg for rice. Imagine. We go, we go beg for money. We want to put it in the system. Imagine. I love President Buhari. In terms of, since he came to power, the money... President Muhammadu Buhari retrieved from offshore accounts from past leaders. Oh God, the money is huge. And every day he's still engaging with the international community. We have with the government, with government leaders of, of those countries and things. Your please help us we want to retrieve our money and things. And as much as I'm not prepared to see President Muhammadu Buhari going back next year in that position. I still commend him for what he's doing. Most of these people are supposed to be behind bars. Not only taking the money from them, but carry them, take them to court. 
If they are found guilty, put them, put them in, in, in prison. Let them spend some years there. Africa will never, will never move forward if we don't take, st if our leaders, you know, continue to play a low on corruption and bad deeds. Our young people will continue to risk their lives on the Mediterranean Sea. Everybody running away. Charity just running away. I'm running away from poverty. Oh, yes. We got a video we saw this morning, that, that documentary. Every one of them, they were asking. My country is rough. There's no hope. I mean, these are young people. Some of them expressing, you know, I, I got first degree. I got my first degree in this. I got my first degree in that and whatsoever. These people are supposed to be on the soil and contribute. But they're risking their lives to take every a treacherous journey to come to Europe. Thousands today are buried in the sea. Their parents will never know about them any longer. Some of them just praying back home. I pray for my son. I pray for my daughter. They don't even know that they were washed away by the, by the sea. And our African leaders, they continue to sit there and just watch. They don't create any avenue that we can have opportunities in our land. And then when Donald Trump come, I mean, when Donald, Donald Trump decide to refer to the continent and the leaders as something as we, all the people get angry. You get angry. You're supposed to be getting angry with your leaders, those corrupt leaders. Don't be friendly with corrupt person. Because yesterday you told us, and we were told that you, you hate corruption. Let me put it that way. That President Muir, you hate corruption. That you are so clean. And despite the fact that I never, I, I never voted for you or so, or I, I didn't want you to be president, but the fact of the matter in the race, the last two individuals, the two of you, in terms of hearing that you guys, your hands were clean, any of you would have won and then we'll see a breakthrough. But today, for you to come up, come out and speak out very, very loudly and say, because we are interconnected, we are all related, it is difficult to fight corruption. I'm disappointed. Mm -hmm. Hugely disappointed. I'm huge, hugely disappointed, Mr. President. If I was in your position by now, I'll be retracting my statement. I'm sorry for what I said. We will haunt every, every individual who, of course, whom their name will be flagged out in the box of corruption and we take we take every step as a as a as a as a as a government to ensuring that indeed that case is brought to justice and if you found guilty you will pay back what you have for us all right let's listen to mr johnson as we continue to push for justice for liberia uh, we're going to listen to this documentary and we'll continue with the, uh, with the, with the, with the discussion. You can call, um, for those of you, just in case, you can call the number uh, plus one four four three six zero two eight eight four seven. Plus one four four three six zero two eight eight four seven. 442 602 You can call the number, you'll be live, or you can call me via the video. Uh, for you to be live with us but let's let me show you the documentary now it's not 
we have the audio, but I want you to see the video in uh, itself, uh, Mr. Prince Johnson, on the uh, right after the TRC uh, hearing. Gaza report is wrong. The whole thing there is that not everything in the TRC report is wrong. The one that is very much questionable is the one that incriminated citizens of the involvement in crimes against humanity. Now, what was the last that the TRC used? When those who appear before TRC did not see the would be victims, the accusers. Now, uh, I think we will be going along to analyze what the, what what uh, this man is saying. I hear from him that he plus the rest of the people <laughs> um, during their hearing incriminated themselves. Oh, Mr. Johnson, uh, am, I, am I really hearing you? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go back a little bit. TRC news. When those who appear before TRC did not see, they would be victims. Yeah. All right. This is where I have serious, serious problem with this man. This is where I have serious, serious problem with this man. You want to see the accuser? Those that you killed? Let's hear from him again. News. When those who appear before TRC did not see, they would be victims. The accusers. Our judicial system calls for the accused facing the accuser. Okay. And now you hear it. That is what he quoting the law because he's a lawmaker. That the accused should face the accuser. So meaning, what he's telling us is that those of us that are accusing him of, of killing our relatives family members or so, he is telling you, telling me, that we should produce the living body of that person that he killed yesterday, so that they can face him in court, the accused facing the accuser. For God's sake, I mean, how we, how we, let me just put one person, here, for example, he comes a Robert. Our, our famous musician then you killed this man because we heard you suspected him of being gay and now you are telling his family to bring Tecumseh Rabba's body and stand before you and say yes it is me you killed yesterday Prince Johnson then you can, before you can, you, can, you can accept it the accused facing the accuser. Sometimes I listen to this man, I just feel like, well, is he okay in the head? I mean, hopefully next week we'll have a psychologist there who will be, and we'll be talking, uh, we'll be talking about mental health next, next week. And I just, I just want a psychologist to go in the head of of Mr. Prince Johnson and tell me what tell me and tell us what is going on inside his head the accused facing the accuser let's continue a judicial system calls for the accused facing the accuser and giving the accuser the accused due process okay mm -hmm. 
If you say it's an injunction rape, which I never do in my life, I have to know who I rape. I have to not be told who I rape, but I have to see who I rape. Uh, you see? Simple as that. Uh, uh, even analyzed before even he, 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 he landed. If you accuse me of rape, <laughs> I have to see the person that I, that I have been accused of raping. Now, that takes me back about the case of, uh, of uh, what her name, Little Regina. Hey God, where is justice in Liberia? Hey God, where are you? This lawmaker, or serving lawmaker at the time, impregnated this 13 years old your own daughter your brother's daughter took her out of Morovia probably took her out of out of out of out of the out of the country only to keep asking the state prosecutor where is the evidence and because the state prosecutor cannot, they, they can't produce the living body of the witness. That's why up to now we can't, we can't have justice. The case can't go forward. This is the same old thing that Mr. Prince Johnson is saying here. Bring the accused, <clears throat> ah, God. bring the accuser right before me. And let them stand before me and say, yes, you're the one that killed me yesterday. You are the one that beheaded me yesterday. And I'm back. Is this man real? What is my what is my can't even show any remorse? Let me ask you people now. Some of you that are still taking this man to be a god. Let me put it that way. A god. Because as I speak right now, they are in Nima County, they're having a so-called Reconciliation uh, Council meeting on my feet. When you're having somebody like this, somebody that's supposed to be referred to as a state man, how will you have? How can you have justice? How will this kind of a man be in a house that is there to protect us as citizens? That when the case of a of a, of a child being raped, meet him in that. In, in the house there that he will stand for justice for that individual will he ever no let's continue here the accused facing the accuser i have to not be told who i read but i have to see who i read i must be given due process but when you call me and you say well uh, the trc is not a court uh, it is just to come and tell the truth and reconcile mm -hmm. with the aim to meeting your, your would-be accuser. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you did something to the, to the accuser, you say, I'm sorry, if you can remember. And, and so, but that was not the case. We were invited individually to narrate our experience of the war. And after that, the TRC want to use our narrative. Prince Johnson, you were never ever invited to just go and narrate a story. We know already what you did, Mr. 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 Prince Johnson. We know it. Some of us are still feeling that my brothers were sharing here one of the two brothers that called here earlier. People are still moving around with pain. When they see you, it's like they want to break the ground to go inside. And you said the TROC invited you, the body invited you to go and narrate a story, to go and tell our history, how the IMPF or MPF was set up. Are you real? That we call you to only go and tell us how you benefited from the war and whatsoever. We call you there to come and tell us what you did. And to also have remorse and say maybe and speak out. Let me have both naked spoke out. How some of them were in tears and they were sharing remorse for what they did. 
We didn't call you there. We never ever. We never, Liberia never invited you there to go and tell us about the history of the war. We knew already what you did. We knew. And I will keep, I will keep repeating it. Some of them are right now in Monrovia. When they see you, when they see your car and they know your car, it's like they want to split the ground They go to go in there and bury themselves. It's only because you are walking free and we're paying you for it. Let's continue. I will narrate our experience of the war and after that, if you want to use our narration to convince us, that is not done anywhere in the court of law. Look, 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 look. It, it, only in Liberia, just say not anywhere in the court of law. Tell me it is only in Liberia. I follow the TRC in South Africa. I did follow the TRC in Rwanda. Yes, even in Sierra Leone, right next door. Next door. The law took its course. Don't tell us this. Stop lying to us. You are a lawmaker. Why should you lie to us like this? Uh, please, uh, let, let's finish with a video. I'll open the line so we can call. Uh, please, uh, somebody trying to call right now. Please, let's finish this video. I'm just trying to go step by step to, to analyze this, this sacrifice uh, uh, story here. Let's continue. Due process is what our constitution requires. Site. So that independent journalists or independent where the massacre took place, the site. That will be able to say exactly where the massacre took place, the site. Okay, well. So if you say Sandra Johnson massacre, you have to be able to say exactly where the massacre took place, the site. Okay, you're listening you're listening to the brain dead human being. You know, every day I listen to him. I'm I'm angry. Go and bring uh, Go and go and uh, well, oh God, man, take me to where I did the ma massacre. Then I will believe. Then the world will believe. Then the court will believe that I, I did massacre. Also, Prince Johnson, that one, but we get we get it documented. The day, the the moment this government say you go ahead, you arrange for your war war and economic crimes court if. Even if it's not going to be here in Liberia, we will put resources together. We got people standing by. Governments, individuals, international NGOs with money. The same way they sponsor the, 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 the special code for Sierra Leone that led to Mr. Taylor being in, in jail today here in the UK. That's the same way we will get money. And those graves that you're talking about, we will show it to you. So that independent journalists or independent interested people will let go and make inquiry in that particular site. But when you leave the whole thing vague and say, the man massacre, no one knows where he massacre. You just say, is it a massacre? You massacre, see 200,000 people, where? And who says so? And who says so? It's the same body at the talking. So, you know, when you leave a gap for, for, for doubt, then how do we implement such a report? How? The report, I went from the beginning to the end. What it says there mostly about, about my organization, IMPFF, is that the IMPFF was the most disciplined organization among the... All right, we'll reach to the other point. The IMPFF <laughs> was the most disciplined... <laughs> I got worried fashion was the most disciplined warring fashion. Prince Johnson, are you for real? Man, I, 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 I'm going to Liberia soon. I will, I will, I will request, request um, an interview with, with this man. And right before him, I will show this video. And then I will, be, I will ask my question on it. I am PFL being regarded <laughs> as the most disciplined Warring faction in Liberia. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Liberia. Different factions. And yet claim that I care the most. So in my organization that I control is 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 branded 
as a more discipline in the tea house, then shall be one who got it. You know, that I, 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 it's questionable. So, so, um, Senator, so in other words, the, the, the TRC uh, did not give due process of law to those incriminated in crime against humanity. So, uh, Senator, uh, still on this TRC report, and uh, you know, the platform and those issues that you raise, uh, in, in general, how do you view? The TRC, it is best for the people of Liberia. Or the TRC was brought here not by Senator Johnson. It was brought here by the crafter, the, the politicians, the warring faction leaders. I was in Nigeria. They chose truth and reconciliation, and they said they didn't want to walk around court. So how then? How dare you bring TRC and want to change that on the ground? Change that to walk around court on the ground when the walk around court was what you should have chosen there. That's my question. If you want to walk around court, thank God. Nobody's about the law. If you feel that we did something wrong and there was a need to prosecute us, then we went to Ghana and they gave you two options, walk around court and TRC. Why did they refuse to walk around court and choose TRC? They choose a nothing that Johnson. I was in Nigeria, they brought TRC here. And they have brought work crime court here, and I was indicted for whatever crime they thought I, I, I committed. I will come. What are they referring to? Who Whoever was present in Ghana. Is that the politicians? The, the politicians, the warring faction, they crafted the TRC. They crafted it. I crafted it. So, what, what, are the, what are the challenges now in you know reconciling Liberia? What do you see? What, what, what do you suppose the challenges are? Well, First of all, the, there are so many challenges. But to begin with, I told you earlier, our people have begun the process of reconciliation. You see, in Grand Jena already, they are there. And we drive midnight to go to any country here, there's no trouble on us. And no trap is uh, revenging against any trap for what they consider that trap to have done during the war. That is all past. So we have begun the process. It's just to, to develop more, you know, to develop more on it and to, to not do those things that, that once broke us apart. Senator, let me just take it down to the issue. Well, let me just do a follow on and you come along. You see, um, you have just said that said there are so many challenges. Um, well, I just gave you some. Yeah, you gave. There are still some shortcomings. Yeah, yeah, of course. But you, you, we talk about uh, one of the challenges I talk about. I will talk about again is limiting our peace and reconciliation to Grand Jena and That is unfair. We still, we are yet to still bring forward. For the reconciliation, the gun suppliers. Mm. All right, don't worry, uh, Rose. Uh, Rose, don't worry about him. Uh, he's already kicked out of the uh, platform. He's, he's already. He's, he he will never ever come across my materials. He's gone already. I blocked him. I blocked him all over. In fact, all the names that came up without without similar names, uh, without similar name, about four are uh, blocked. All of them. So none of that name. As such, we ever see my materials. So thank you, Rose. Thanks for the reply to him as well. But only thing he 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 he, he won't see it anymore. Mm -hmm. The gun suppliers, the training base providers. We got the weapons that were used in the conflict were all conventional weapons, Western-made weapons. The country boys from Grand Jena and then Sano and Nimba, Grand Crew, Basan. And Bapulu, where did they know to, to, to go for training? You took them there. You went, you, according to Mr. Taylor, it is you, the, 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 former, the former president, uh, Ellen Johnson Salif, uh, Tom Oyu, it is the three of you that actually, oh, anyway, sorry, his name was, even, was not even mentioned. So uh, let me not give him that credence. Mr. Taylor didn't mention his name. Mr. Taylor mentioned himself. Tom Oweyu 
and Ellen Johnson Solid. Uh, they are the ones that put together the second MPFL. The first MPFL was by uh, General Thomas Kwomba. And he was, he was slaughtered. According to Taylor, he was eaten. And so, you know, your name, perhaps if you're even going to continue your work, I did, did your killing and perhaps and just stay like that, I don't think we're going to know you that much, in fact. Because throughout Mr. Taylor's trial, I didn't even hear much of you. So, but this is it. Uh, I think we'll, let's, let's hang on here. And let's continue to discuss it. Let me give you time to call. At least we we'll get 20 more minutes here. Uh, so I can take your call and we can continue from there. But uh, we'll, be, we'll continue to be weeding out the, uh, those uh, sick funds. Some of them with water in their heads. They call it brains or so. Let me see if I can go on the video now. Uh, Moses Kwaba. I hope Moses stay around. Let's see if we can get Moses, if Moses stay around or so. Because uh, he's been waiting a long time. As I was trying to actually get this, uh, uh, to analyze uh, to analyze him. Moses, good afternoon from my end. Good evening, from my end. How are you, Mark? <coughs> I'm good, brother. It's great to, great to have you on the show. Welcome. Thank you very much for the program. I must come all for, for hard work, for the job well done, the electing our man on the happening of, of the past, okay, and for us to make our contribution on what to be done. Okay, then you see, uh, uh, we, can blame, we cannot blame these guys, what, what print content or print Johnson content or say because of, uh, we blame ourselves because uh, if we a, a country in which people don't understand that the power lies in the hands of the people, uh, uh, where you get these things happening, okay? Because uh, people who don't understand that the power lies, we, don't, we, have, we have not come to that realization that the power lies in the hands of Liberian. We have not understand that exactly in Liberia. We feel within ourselves, or uh, this guy didn't want to get the power. Hey, Moses. Okay, to do anything if you Mo Moses. Yeah. Moses? Say, say, say yes. you on live on video. Let me take the call from the telephone and then I'll come back to you. Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. I'll call up. Good afternoon. Hey, man. How you doing? Hey, Moses. Hey, Moses. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome to the show. I don't even want to use the word on the radio. But Mr. Frank Johnson, I don't know what the word is doing that, but I would just put it this way. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have the evidence. If you know it, we slap water out of thing, you all have to be killed. That is an evidence, that's a physical evidence for you. When you grab the door and cut his ear, immediately, that's a physical evidence. When you grant the council rival and kill, they are witnesses to attest to that. That's a witness. So, to tell you, maybe we need some psychologist to look into the mind of you. You know, but I mean, these gruesome as you did, and still today you cannot come up to express any remorse yeah, man. to the Liberian people. What? You tell a mass grave? Yes, they are mass grave in more of you. They are mass grave in more of you. So is that a defense you're putting out, Mr. Johnson? You went to the TRC. You said they invited for history. But you have you have said all these things that you did. Now history is coming to hold you back. You said it. Not going to force you to put words in your mouth. You said it. You did it. So the one thing here is now for the Liberian people, for us, to gather now our support for war crime and economic code in Liberia. Because if we say people are saying they want peace, they want peace. This is the only formula that we can derive at peace. When people 
being held accountable for what they did. So it can serve as precedent and deterrent for future generations. So nobody, so no one can come back to repeat the same mistake again. But if we allow these people to go with impunity, what message are we sending to the young people today? You see in Liberia today, people take caution to be, I mean, it's a way of life in Liberia now, because why? People are not being accountable for it. People are not being accountable for it. And that's, that, that's, the, that, that's the path that our society is taking. That people can just do things and get away with it. So if this precedent continues, what, what future we want to build for Liberia? What is the future for Liberia? As the president, that we are all connected. No. My, in, 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 in the last time I said it, in a good, a renowned son, a human rights advocate, a permanent lawyer from Lima County, Council of Tiro Gongo, he is saying now that there is a need for this, for, 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 for this impunity to stop out. That's what my dear, and coming for what it did. So look, I don't care what reconciliation council they can go to, name my kind of whatever, whatever kind of people want to go to, that gets a crack. The cost of the matter here is that people did something in Liberia, and there must be justice for those people. You can, and, and the thing that I don't know, so now when you're talking to people, the people ask the one evidence, and these are the same kind of things that they are saying, and people who are highly educated will tell you the worst evidence. Yeah. But when you have all these document, things that have been documented out there, that like, it just a quick a way that you can go and read anything you want to read about the civil war. And when people are seen, and these four names are all mentioned in it, but yet both of us still come to tell you where is the evidence. So as it was saying, all these things that were documented, that are out there for people to read. So are you posting that these people lie? And were they seeing what testimony in the document? Then you'll come back to answer, where is the proof? How much proof you need? How much proof you need? There are mass going all around the world that were controlled by Prince John, that were controlled by Chancellor, hmm? that were controlled by uh, 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 the Lugia Masca. Just, just last, but they didn't go and dig up poor bones or go get a second there. In that proof? So what you people want that we should go? And resume this for bond to, to put it together and stand out in the court of all these Oh, ideas. yeah, this is what really hurt me right now. Honestly, yeah, it gets me taking my mind way back. But, uh, Joe, uh, uh, Joe, uh, let, let me, um, we have a we have uh, Amos as well on the line, uh, via the video. So, uh, uh, get, um, wrap up, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but the question I just want to ask our people, the 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 house of representatives, I think if you read yesterday, they say that they are committed are looking at this. Or war crime, and that's crime code in Liberia. So, what I want people to do, these representatives that are on our committee who want their phone numbers. If anybody in Liberia can put his phone number in the paper, so we can have access to it, so we can start calling them yeah, yeah. and telling them this is what we want. And if you don't do it, we will come after you. Politically, we will come after you. Okay. I think it must be, you know, just like that. So, let me just leave the other point of video. So, thank you. I will follow these people. All right, Amos, thanks a lot. Let me get, come back to you. Uh, but, uh, uh, Moses, let's hear from you. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, look, you know, as I, as I was saying, Mark, you know, uh, you expect these things to, to uh, for, because uh, he, he, he watched the video of Prince, Prince Johnson continue to make such a statement, okay, it just get, it just get people more angry, okay, the, because uh, the evidence is there, then you continue to, you continue to tell us well, we, we want physical evidence or the accusers should be, uh, the accusers should appear. You know, it's just like you're making fun and continue to make fun of the yeah. Liberian people. It's just what I stated. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, power, uh, uh, the power lies in the hands of Liberian. Okay, so our, we need to understand this because when we understand that the power last in our hand we get on the street to my for what uh, uh, for the war ground court because development will not come into liberia when these things don't take place reconciliation will not take place when justice have not been done nowhere in the world you find such thing happening 
Only in Liberia you find such thing happening. It is because of this thing we see ourselves not going nowhere. We continue to, we continue to go backward. Mm, Nothing yeah. is happening in the country because we allow such things to continue to happen. Infinity continue to reign in our nation. So people rile on these things. You understand me? And, and we believe that by the grace of God, all these things will stop. And Lord, we don't want set, the, uh, set action to continue to take place for our unborn generation. Let, let them see things happening. When, when, they come, they, when they come in, they'll know that yet. Or, or the people that were in Labrador before, they did something that we, we got to lay back to carry Labrador like, flower, no matter how it you say fee, but it was the, the work from Korea, we believe that was we, we should have come to Liberia. They will be punished for the atrocity they committed against humanity, against the citizens of Liberia. You understand mm -hmm. me? So we, we, uh, and we let us continue to press on and we believe that these things will, because uh, I, uh, you know, I continue to get to my mind. What message do you preach in your church? What message do you preach in your church? I saw, uh, as you call yourself a uh, uh, pastor, because the Bible says that should not care. Okay, that should not care. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the, the, what, uh, what message do you preach? You understand? Okay, you can, you can, you can more, more close to it, that other chapter there. Uh, it, 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 they're mocking, you, are, you continue to mock us. You continue to mock Liberians. You understand? Because what you continue to do on the video is a mocking you continue to do to us. Because every Liberian was affected indirectly or directly. Yeah, they they gone they they gone war. Okay, so everybody in Liberia was totally affected. And yeah, you rule our you rule our future. You rule we rule our activities into Liberia. So no matter how high it take is, we believe that these things will take place and Liberia will move forward. Thank you very much, Mark. God bless Hi, you. Moses. Welcome. Thanks a lot. I mean, as usual, uh, Moses, a uh, usual contributor. Um, I think we need to weed. Uh, we need to weed out the uh, the weakest links here yeah, on this uh, website. Let me uh, on this uh, to what the late grading Alice that he killed, he Prince Johnson, and Yata or Water Alice, the late wife, took her time to go to Prince Johnson just to go get some kind of information. How was my? I take the call. Call up, Yeah, how are you, Magna? I guess that's Rose, eh? Yeah. Rose, welcome to the show. Thanks for all the contribution. Uh, we'll take time to read them later on. Oh no, it's okay. Thank you too. Uh, you want to voice out? What? Well, um, I know uh, you want to co uh, continue with uh, what you've been writing. <laughs> No, I just want to voice out. I have a few things to say. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, first of all, I would say I support the war and economic crime cut because it stole my childhood. I was born in 89 and the war started in the 90s. And I don't know anything about childhood enjoyment. I came from school hungry and have to walk to go in the market or sell in the market before I can eat. So I believe that it stole my childhood and it stole the level of education I'm supposed to have. And today I become a mother very early and now I have to support my brothers and other family. So for those who are not in support of war and economic crime code, I believe that they took part in the war and was able to come in Europe and America. Those that say, even the people that are saying that Prince John C., the, because somebody over there by the name of Aji say, oh, the children of Nima was killed. Let me tell you something, Aji. My dad was on Nima. His, his, his brother, his sister, his uncle, all was killed. And guess what? Prince Juicy killed a lot of people from Nima. Prince Juicy killed a crown for Nima, the girl for Nima. He killed the, the, the man. You know how many Nima did Prince Juicy kill? And after that, he asked where the person and you know how many of those people are pretty just, or how many educated people from Nima pretty just in kill? When he finished killing them, he said, oh, what the other person, what the other woman? Even a boy from Nima on, 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 on Friends Day show yesterday. The boy said the people carry white chicken, goat, and things to pretty just they carry to him. He own people from Nima. After that, pretty just slaughtered over 20 of those people. 
break in and see the matter. So I don't know where I want people coming from that old prejudice defended the Nima people. Prejudice kill a lot of guilt people. And first of all, that's very ignorant of us. There is no need that if if don't kill people for Nima, prejudice have no right killing all the innocent people. That's not justice. That's the reason why they have court of law that you can go and carry your case and the person will bear the punishment that they did. So if somebody came from a Barca person or somebody from different place came from somebody from a great Barca and then the Barca people should go and kill. So is that how we will continue to live in Liberia? I beg you, my people, we have to graduate from that level of ignorance. We have to think. We have to get ourselves and see in integrity. There is no way you can justify the killing and the rape that went on in Liberia. Then to this day, Liberia is going backward. In my sometimes we don't have to bleed it. Because most of these people fought the war. Some of them stood there and the people were killed. They are not okay in the hair. And today, Liberia go backward. Liberia is now you go Liberia and uh, 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 mass. People don't have future. Because while the people are not working, they graduate from school, they cannot even perform what they did. People graduate from universities of Liberia, they can't even write friendly letter. Mm -hmm. That's discouraging. Yeah. The country is going back. What people don't even think, all people think in Liberia when they get out, what they will be able to eat. You see? So it's that. So if we don't fight for justice today for the war that took place in Liberia, we have 1990, we have auto post, we have April 6th, we have. Yeah. We had three, I think, four or five different wars. So if those people now uh, facing justice, other people will do the same. Mm, yeah. And say nothing will come from other aid. I see. People, I see. even today in Nigeria, people can say that and start their friend and say nothing will come from yeah. other aid. And show kids, Mark, nothing yeah. will come from other aid. Yeah. You yeah. get kids, people don't want to go to court because you go to court, they will take money from you, take money from you, and you will get tired, you end up mm. sitting down. Yeah. That's the country we find ourselves in. That's true. That's so true. I tell you, every one of you that have talk show for this war and economic crackles, I say bravo to you guys. Take one some of your travel and your learn from where your 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 TV, Europe, America, your learn. Those that travel and refuse to learn, that left with them. But I know that we will have justice in Liberia. So I just want to say thank you and I just want to tell the people from Nima that continue to see preachers who want to fight for them. The people that preach on C kill were people like yourself. Preach on C that want to kill people only from Grand Jude. Preach on C kill every trap in Nigeria. And even the people from Grand Jude were, some of them were, were, you know, that's not nice. All right, all right, Rose. Thank you so much for your contribution. Yeah, thank you. All right, that's uh, Rose Day. Uh, we, we, will, we will see. Um, yeah, uh, let, let let me show you what I was just uh, I just killed uh, here. Um, this is a, a mother. This is a mother. A wife. A woman. I heard about a husband. Maybe the children been asking. So where is our dad? And he decided to go, uh, sorry, she, she decided to go to meet Prince Johnson face to face. Let me go and meet this man and just find out. How did my husband die? And the next thing she got is what you're going to see in this shot video
to my family, my children, I told no man, I do not know anything is just a plan to get to kill grey. That all those people plan it to so kill grey. Uh, I was not here. But you heard it. I was sick. I can't tell you how it was. Oh, I'm it. I'm it. No, I'm it. I was trying to say that I'm not here. Family, my children, I told no man, I do not know anything. It's just a plan to get to kill grey. That all those people plan it to kill grey. I was not here. But you heard it. I was sick. I can't tell you how it was. Oh, Oh, I think if they, if they, if the bodyguard was going to get him that pistol, he's going to shoot that woman to, you know, dead. <sighs> My lines are still open. You can call. You can you, you can call and uh, <laughs> contribute your one or two cents on the video. You can call via the video, or the number is just right. Uh, there now on the video on top of the video that's mr prince johnson i uh, we all know his voice is famous and uh, his attitudes are all famous as well the woman is almost like begging i wasn't here i was not even in the country when my husband was killed i only want to know somebody's mother like i said Maybe the children were asking her, so mommy, where's that? Where's daddy? Where's our dad? They didn't even know how to how to answer the children, and decided to come to you. Let let me just find out from Mr. Prince Johnson, since he's now the lawmaker, he's now a senator, since he's now in the government. Oh yes. I think you have remorse now that he will sit down with me and tell me how my husband got killed, how my children's fathers got killed. I only to meet him and want to eat the woman raw, give my gun. The woman swearing on her children, on her holy communion. You as a pastor, you as a pastor, you say you are an ordained pastor, pastor, you stay preaching. And somebody has gone to you, swaying on their Holy Communion. The very Holy Communion you pray on, on, top, on, on top of every, or every Sunday or so and give to your congregation. That is a Holy Communion that she's swaying upon. It's almost like you taking an oath, taking the Bible and kissing it. You're taking an oath to serve the state, to serve your people. That's the same more way somebody swam before you on their Holy Communion. They are kissing the Bible indirectly and telling you, please, I do not know anything about what you're saying. I only came to find out from you. You are the only person that can tell me the truth. How my children's father was killed. Somebody sitting on the somebody will still come on the platform here and tell me that indeed what Mr. Prince Johnson did was right. And I just wonder as to which planet we come from. Yeah, sometimes now I do wonder. Not even the insult. Look, even, even that, I know you have a wife. If your wife listen to this video and hear the way you're insulting the woman, the slap you're giving her, 
the request you're making for a gun this is a man that our president is bringing very very close to protect is protecting not even bringing close that president george weir is protecting this is a man this is a man we're going to take a short musical break because right now it's just like how some of you you guys are feeling right now also the analyzation will carry on some of the videos here of mr johnson man has no remorse whatever the general is asking you don't you think the trc is the best is the best tools to use to at least bring peace and reconciliation in liberia and you're telling the journalists you are disturbing our peace see what we can add uh, Prince I think Prince is trying to join us let's see if we can get Prince uh, uh, to join us of this afternoon get uh, uh, Melinda Joss uh, Joss all the way there in Liberia let's see whether we can get her
see whether we can uh, reach all the way there in my river Liberia uh, to see if we can add uh, I'll speak to uh, Melinda George <laughs> My people arise. When they arise, when we begin to do the rightful thing for this nation. If they go through press, they talk foolishness. But they're not wise. If you're not wise, you are foolish. Two minute talks are on the radio. When you open the radio, the talk show, what's your view? They talk foolishness. But they're not wise. If you're not wise, you are foolish. I don't know if Melinda Joyce is prepared to talk to us. It's like it's just not prepared. Uh, Melinda, it seems to be. Uh, yes, let's continue with uh, PYJ here. Talks are on the radio. They talk foolishness, but they're not wise. If you're not wise, you are foolish. So I'm going to fold my hand, yeah? Then you can call my people to call the truth, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. This is, this is the, this is the brainwashing method that this man stay using on the people of Nima County. I must sit down for the people to come and call my truth. You join the rebel all the way from, I don't know how they call it, um, how they call it, please? Um, all the way in Burkina Faso. Come on, man. So to cut your people through that, it is used in fact that brought the people in. Because where, where did the MPFL or so-called IMPFL, where did it, where, which route they pass? Ivory Coast and Butro. Butro is in Nima County. Come on, man. I mean, is there any justification in what this man is saying? I'm going to sit down there for people to come come my people through. Let's see what we can get uh, Ibrahim Kamara on. What kind of man is it? Let's see what we can get Ibrahim Kamara. Okay? I'm going to sit down there. Do you, we sat down in our country. We are eating our dry rice. I was, you know, I mean, we were children at the time. Our, our parents then were, you know, sponsoring or going to school enjoying the little we have in our country and thing i mean we're still in fact we met our brothers and our sisters all those ones they were, they were they used to say i born here i die here and we took this we, we took the, the the terminology from them we were also we also started using it i born here i stay here i die here i don't think nothing we were thinking of that you know somebody is killing our relatives or they're killing the tribe or that travel on that travel so it was still peaceful anyway. You went and bought your army ammunition. You went and recruited men, according to the Mr. Taylor. You had people training in Libya. You had people training in Burkina Faso. There you go. You brought them on the soil in Africa. You passed through your own county. You, you, you were coming in to kill my people. If if this war was entering Bhutto and you Prince Johnson was in part of it and you stood at, at the border point there and recruited men and to stop the, these people from entering Liberia through Bhutto, through Nima County. If you are speaking this now, I say, yeah, I killed the people because they were coming in my county and whatsoever in defense of my people. Fine. Then I will listen to you. But I, not when you yourself... You left your own country. You went and pawned your natural resources. You joined the people to pawn the natural resources. Your 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 give for your give for whatever you, you can give for in terms of arms and ammunition. You know and thing. When we win the war, we come to power. We will use our mineral resources wherever you are interested. I mean, that's how they negotiated everything. You kill your own people. Then you telling me 
That's right, Christopher. You killed your own people. You organized to come and kill your own people. Then today, you because of the because of La Labrin people now are calling for this establishment of war economic crimes code. Then you you get it in the head of the people to tell them, oh, uh, you know, uh, the people the people wanted to come and kill my people. That's why I I, I joined the IMP. That's why I hey, come on, man. We're not stupid, man. Let me see who on the video again. I don't know why the video is not being operating now. Uh, let me see if. Uh, Let's see. Let's try Abraham Kamara first, and then we'll come talk to. You know the whole we talk in the army. We talk the the whole in the army to defend the people, the sovereignty, not the sovereignty of the president. Every day, this man contradicting himself. Standing right in your church, you're contradicting yourself. Let's see whether we can get um, Abraham Kamara on. Is say adding, so we can get your uh, your contribution on this show. Every day, you see, you took the um, you took your oath in the army to protect to protect your citizen. Ah, you are caught. We told the army not to execute illegal orders, unlawful orders. So you see, people not smart. When you say, John will catch the people, John see no reason to catch anybody. But if they were the one who were president, and the one who after us, the army will split. Now you see, you know, the, the last time, I think that in the same, uh, uh, the same uh, audio. They were in the Western world a long time. They may, uh, I mean, especially with respect to what he said in this particular audio clip. And now the national security, you know, finally inviting him to go give statement also. Nobody would divide it. I mean, the girl people, man, to the white girl, somebody. You have no army, you have nothing but chaos. I told you earlier before, I said, you know, you know, you know, you put me here. I was elected by my people, but my, I gave you Nima Kante. When I took you all over, I said, Nima Kante, mm, your son. So, your people. All right. I gave you Nima Kante. <laughs> I got. I don't know. Uh, Prince is not being added. I don't know what happened here. Your primary objective, Mr. President, is to protect me. As an individual, because I gave you Nima County yesterday. That's what the, that's, that's what the senator is. You got to protect me. Let's let's try Prince again. I don't know the connection. Of the so he's trying his best to the support for second round or women will be based upon how many independent you on a high level. How many Nima people being minister and ambassador to Canada? Managing director, Lima is last. So, what we will support him, or what we will be doing, is that the next election, though we are there for six years, and we promise another six years, 12 years, but we will make sure that we use our resources to repatriate all the Banians in every country to come and raise up the census. So, we can have a huge number. We are 1.2 million. They all look at all the country. I don't know even when 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 did he conduct <laughs> conduct the uh, the the sensor 1.2 million from just Nima County and you got four million people 4.5 million people in, in the whole country one county one county have yeah. this government and people my people from my country. All over Nima, uh, Liberia, they all go down and say, Nima Pato, they depend on me, they look up to me. And I told them, just me. So when you touch God, when you touch us, we got his backing, he got our backing. But you're welcome to that fiasco, you're not coming in. Because it's a go-to person. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, Christopher. Honestly, yes, <laughs> that is. The war, I mean, our war 
<laughs> Warcraft code that we're calling for that fiasco. Yeah, we, it reaches to the boiling point. This is the first thing the hypocrites to understand. The result of the referendum. Yeah, man, calling the the advocates. Liberian people that are calling for the establishment of, of war and economic crime because calling 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 us hypocrites. You need you need to consult your I don't know your I don't know office some somebody also. The GRC before it started and they went for a referendum. Yes, and judge, yes. they went for a referendum all over Liberia, all over the diaspora. Can you tax for your money? Where is the result of that referendum in a voluminous document? But they extracted it and kept it secret somewhere while the other commissioner took total over behind it and sent it to the Senate. So they were, they were criminals, and they are criminals. The body of the group, Master Washington. Why is it that the result of the referendum, Liberians say 85% of them say no, 15% say we want to work with that code. Then you remove that, 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 code, that position of the Liberian people, you throw it in one code, you close it, then you take it with me. God use his own commissioner to take them up behind and send it to the legislature. We got it. So when the president, TRC, TRC, why first thing, where is the result of the referendum? The laboratory people said they don't want trouble. And you want to, you took it on hardy. And they took it from here and gave it to us, we got it. And you want to force something on us that the laboratory people they don't want, you want to force it, we will force you out. Yeah. Why you run away in America, in the, the I think North Carolina, is a legal consultant to Alan White, who making law on video. All right, that's uh, the voice of Free Johnson. We got a breaking news coming for you. Uh, we got a breaking news. Um, thanks to my former boss for, for sending me this uh, breaking news. Uh, we'll read the breaking news to you. It has to do with the upcoming general, uh, the UNGA meeting, and the U.S. Embassy near Morovia communication to the president of Liberia. Uh, that breaking news is coming up shortly. Let's see who is on the line now. Godwin. Thank you so much for the breaking news. Uh, at least this um, portion of this breaking news is tied in with what I've been talking about the last time, a couple of months now, calling on this government to reduce uh, delegates out of the country representing Liberia on major meetings or so. Uh, let's see whether we can uh, get our brothers. So we'll bring, we'll bring you the, the breaking news. See, let's see. Uh, we're trying to add our brother there. Let's see what contribution. Uh, no video from the caller. I don't know. You have to uh, perhaps. Uh, can get you Godwin. Uh, where is Godwin? Godwin. I don't know whether if people are not friends. I don't. I haven't checked this on Facebook. I need to check it out. Whether if people are not friends, that's why I can make it difficult for them to come live. I don't know. Try Godwin again for uh, perhaps the, sec the second and last time. Then we'll read out the breaking news to you. I just want to authenticate the news. I'm trying to communicate with, uh, trying to communicate with the person who just sent the breaking news. Let me let me confirm it before I can pass it on to you. All right, 
I would still find it difficult to get. So. Thank you so much, uh, William, for sharing the video. All right, uh, I think your camera is, is okay. Now you got it now. Thank you. Uh, you didn't wait for me to finish. Goodwin, welcome. Oh, no, you Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, brother. Thank you. I'm Godwin Jade calling from North Carolina. It's a pleasure yeah, having you on the show. I think it's your first time on my platform. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Welcome. I bet compared to copy on, on your topic on a review, you know. Okay. Let's hear from you. You know, I, I, yeah, I, I had an opportunity to be fighting up your show and see see the documentary that you've been showing all there. And I've been feeling very disgusted for people to commit a lot of heinous crime in Liberia and just sit back there and all the everything is going well, you know. Mm -hmm. And I 100% do support the war crime code. We live our life back in Liberia. We know what happened there during the war. Yeah. We are victims a lot of circumstances. Today we had the opportunity to be alive. It's just by the grace of God, you know. Mm -hmm. And have the opportunity to live in Liberia today to be in the U.S. Just get God the glory. Mm. But on a, on a general setting is that it's so disgusting to see people like Prince Johnson who have committed a lot of crime, kill innocent people, and still sit back in Liberia and act just like he have done no wrong. Yeah, man. You know, he still calling the war crime code work as a name and it would never happen. It would not, you know, it's so disgusting, you know. So I'm compared to call this show that every library we can write our voices to make sure that people that commit a crime in our beloved country should find a decent cut. Yeah, you you go, go, Godwin, just, just, just before you go further, Godwin, um, um, you know, I mean, your expression right now, you know, as well, at the time I was, I was young, I don't know how old were you, but in terms of uh, maybe losing future in Liberia. You think you, 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 you actually lost the future in Liberia? Uh, well, because I, I was in Liberia when I was in I was like 11 years old. Wow. And I went through that difficulty, I can, I, I can say it to you, bro. My mom, who is still back home there, I gave all the glory last year. I would become the first person in my life, you know, because mm. I was in 11 years old. Imagine I walked from St. John River to Freetown for rescue. What? And while I was still in Freetown, just the war went behind me again, brought me back to Liberia, 91, 92. And I remained there until I left Liberia now in America. So I went to the war. Even the Ebola, I was still there, you know? But to, to, wow. to, to see this guy that committed all that kind of crime, the last time, single dramatic corner came on the air, he said he didn't really keep fly, you know? Even though Pete Johnson is still trying to prove that it's something extraordinary, but they are so, so much larger than that need to really come to the book. The war crime code will support you with our loud blood in our vein. Like you can't come out about it. You two should be here accountable for every crime that the committed against the Liberian people. Now, I mean, so it's not just Bridge Johnson. How, how, you, you in America, so that, I, I, you, you in America, I hear in the UK. How, how was it? What was your feeling like when you heard that? Uh, the, the three ring readers, those who actually formed the MPFL, which include Charles Taylor, according to Charles Taylor himself, he said there were three of them, him, uh, Tom Woyu, and Ellen Johnson Sully. When you heard the news in America that Tom Woyu was found guilty and put behind bars for more than 30 years and Charles Taylor for more than uh, for about 50 years, uh, how, what was your reaction like? I was very, very happy for that, you know? But my happiness just didn't, just didn't stop to turn with you. I've got to follow Tom with your situation in, in Philadelphia, you know, the code process and what have you. But I would feel more satisfied if we go beyond a turn with you, you know? Mm -hmm. You got everything in Sally. She's ruled up for 12 years. She had, she's held on the town. I'm going to burn the mansion down and she will rebuild it. Yeah. And she came back, she couldn't even rebuild it. And she put her point to other poverty. And now she raped the country and now she has left. So it's, she said to come and face injustice, you know? Yeah. They're already going to, they're already going to what he, what he deserves. Don't worry, it's on the other hand going in jail right now. Mm. And then also need to come for and face justice, go yeah. to jail, you know? Because it's clear, back in the, in the 90 world, who are kids coming or she said it, bring down the margin, we will be there. And doing the campaign time, after that question, so many times you're trying to paraphrase it, you know, trying to beat around that, you know what, man? 
and this, that, but we know clear what she mean at the time. So if these people who had the opportunity to face the day in court to exonerate the cell, then every LeBron will be very proud of that, you know. Mm -hmm. So who want to be selective? Tom, will you on the other end go into a different court process, chapter or international for several years? Well, eh? LeBron people need to wake up, you know. We in LeBron, we just talk and we don't show action. This is what the kid was country, you know. We talk about we don't show action. Everybody are going to wherever they're going to now, like the chapter. If the certain could have, could have come out to say he commit a tragedy in the country, just like we move here around free. Don't worry to another other side in America and you make some amazing information, like a point or whatever it is, and then you're going to where you're going to. So we as a librarian book gotta wake up and say we want this want to bring people to book for a crime or committed in our country. Yeah, yeah. That would be on record for that. Yeah. And up to now, library, I know get on record for such yet. So now we're talking about the war crime code, it will be on avenue, the best time we can come up, speak up. And let the laws be heard, and let those that commit a crime against our people be heard, the kind of in the communal code of law. You know, that's the only way, you know, things to, to put things to a check, you know, to, to, to elevate adequate checkpoints for people can commit a kind of crime once mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just while open, it will still be recipe for people to continue doing what they're doing. Okay. Looking like what to the corruption still comes down to the really hack because there have been no mechanism put in place to yeah. fight corruption. Mm. So the country comes down to, to, to be. To be to be living in other properties. Yeah, but, but the then, poorest country in the world. That, that will bring me uh, up to my final question to you, uh, uh, Godwin. Um, uh, you know, I know yeah. where you are now. I mean, I'm sorry, 11 years old. If you were to be in Liberia up to this point, but now we don't know how it will have ended. But thank God for you. Uh, you were able to, 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 to end up somewhere that at least you can build your life and try to help the, uh, your family behind. And of course, help Liberia as well. Um, when you heard the last time that the president um, came out, he said it openly that um, uh, it is so difficult to fight corruption in Liberia because we are all connected. So let's leave it as it is. Did you did, did you find it pleasing to hear that from your president? No, it was not, it, it was, it was not favorable because people always say it's difficult to fight corruption. It's not just difficult. We need people with sincerity, patriotic to fight corruption. Because, you know, the corruption in Liberia, you get a system, and if that system cannot be their way to fight corruption, it will be very difficult. Mm. It's not that it's so very difficult. No, it is. First, the government got to be sincere to herself, you know? It was happening in Liberia. And I left Liberia more three, four years back, and I, and I worked for coming for coming out of America. You came content to pay seven, seven, ten thousand Liberian dollars in a, in a, with the under dispensation that you have one, one, five, one sixty to a dollar. When the man had three, four children and 10,000, you cannot even take it in for a month, go pay you a, a child's school fee. You definitely find doing something on an extraordinary to, to, to keep him going. So, if all the things can be revisited there, screen the government payroll, pay people the kind of salary that can keep them functional and doing the thing you want to do, and you know, you create programs and stuff. Yeah. Everybody check can be on government payroll, you no, know. That's it. You can find some the country there that will, that, will, that will help to employ. Look. So, where you, you in Europe, in America, we see a lot of stuff going. America is working to because of the system. Yeah. Just system. Yeah. If we can start creating system in Liberia that can help solve some of this problem, we'll find ourselves on the right track. Mm -hmm. to create system that like tomorrow somebody has something going in negative, it will pop all the I'm poor talking about Joe yeah, and put to declare the offset. That's one of the clear manifestations that can help fight corruption. This is a system. Because if you can the government with, with, with 50,000, after your two or three years serving in office, a minister or whatever, and you go check, you can go 50,000, give you over 250,000, you got to tell you get that money from. This system will have to put some things under control. Mm -hmm. But if we can put this system into place, then it's difficult. Okay. We're going to fall corruption if we are willing to fall corruption. We've got to be sincere to fall corruption. You're right, brother. All right, uh, Godwin, thank you so much, man. Thanks for your contribution and thanks for uh, participating on the show today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you for having me on your show. A pleasure being on your show. But before I conclude, yeah, I just want to say this war crime code. I see most of your video and so most of it have been put into war print Johnson. Even though yes, he coming out of stuff in Liberia. But I want it to be holistic. We're not holding on here alone, you know. We gotta put a committee of thirty by the judge bully who had who commit who, who control another P L P C in America and might the border here and now the grand jury also went and voted him the office. You know, people mm -hmm. shouldn't be using government office to hire after you have committed a crime. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, well, so all these guys need to cap. We, we need to stand up and pick all the guys from government. Let it go and face the 
walk and cook and and and, and well, what thing that I call the lament, but let the faith do justice. Yeah, Every people are going to use government for, for recipe for hauling behind yeah. the crime that you have committed. Yeah. So I will pray that you get video on us, all these guys, single thematic comment, yeah. George Bonner, who, whoever, you know? That, that, because right now it looks like they are. That's why I've been trying to. 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 I've Trying to get which horn somebody get from Nima Prince Johnson alone, you know, and so very recent comment, you know, it's not just about Prince Johnson, it's about what the crown has committed in Liberia. Yeah. So I want to go beyond Prince Johnson and who was some other guys that committed a hidden crime in Liberia. And like get some video on that too, you know. So that those can be evident tomorrow that tomorrow we can have to pinpoint them so they can face the consequences tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, I mean, play your I, video, I, I play a documentary. Yeah, I, I play a documentary, but I need to add more to that. Okay. A uh, point well noted. That's why uh, for ma majority of them individually, they do not have those materials that are not uh, documented also. Very few of them. That's why normally I like to uh, restream the Charles Taylor's trial. Because during Charles Taylor's trial, we heard a lot. And you know Charles Taylor is a main ringleader anyway. So names are, yeah, sure. a lot of names are, are, are mentioned there. And even the, during the TRC, they got lots of names when they, when they listen to Charles Taylor's trial. That's how they included those names in the uh, TRC recommendations. So that's why I always show it. So those materials, for me, those materials that I'm available to reach, are able to reach, that's why I continue showing as well. So, but thanks so much for your contribution this afternoon, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, brother. You do a great job. Thank you for letting our mind. Okay. Thank yeah. you once again. Bye. All right. Uh, that's Godwin there uh, from the USA. Let me just, um, yeah, uh, let me just uh, pass this, uh, me, uh, the Max said it, it stay unconfirmed. And I will read it as it came to me. Unconfirmed report, the breaking news coming. It says here, yeah, breaking news. U.S. Embassy near Morovia issues President Weir restricted visa to the United Nations General Assembly scheduled for this September. At the same time, the embassy have reduced, have requested a reduction in number of presidential delegates to New York City. Uh, this is unconfirmed. It's just flashing in, but it is unconfirmed. Uh, but um, given the 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 experienced by the vice president madam taylor the last time a similar thing did happen she was supposed to go on the women conference but our understanding was that the, the visa that were issued her was restricted and um just to also elaborate a little bit on it uh it, this is not only uh it's not has it hasn't well it hasn't happened only to our leaders anyway. Uh, on many occasions, Rabo Mugabe, um, leaders from the DRC, uh, from Somalia. Uh, most of the times, uh, when they were attending the UNGA, they would give them restricted uh, visas. Uh, this means that he cannot leave beyond the, 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 the conference zone. That's how the restricted visa works in America. They will give you the visa. But you can't say, let me go do such thing. They will lay the land of demarcation for you that this is where you know this is the point you can stop you can go beyond this point or so but let's hope that um, it's not that way because we want him to come out so the liberians that are in america liberians that are traveling from other part of the world to go and be part of the protest there voicing out for the establishment of war and economic crimes court 
that he can be able to engage them. So I hope this news, uh, as it is unconfirmed yet, I hope it isn't true as well. The only thing, or the only part of the news I want it to work is this reduction of delegates. You quite know by now, they're working on visas by now, they're submitting names, they call it the, the, the presidential Minister of State for Presidential Affairs is collecting names or putting names together as to who is going with the president at the UNGA. And they have, because they have to do the application for visas ahead of time, a lot of them will need visas. In fact, all, all of them will need visas. There's no visa waiver between Liberia and the, and, 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 and the USA. And so they have to, and the reason they have they have to be done as well. The USA have to carry what they call security checks as well on each individual to know their background as well. For those that will be perhaps coming from the lower class of of government functions, they might even refuse them visa. They issued the vice president a restricted visa because she was she was a vice president if she were just an ordinary citizen that one that no no you can't even enter the usa but in that case as well i think uh, we even heard at that time the the vice president even thought that that was an insult to her why should you give her as a vice president of the republic of Liberia? why must she be restricted to move around in, in the states and on that occasion the first lady represented the vice president on that women conference so this is where we stand right now let me see how's up uh, uh let me see uh video is they working uh, just in case if you want to call or if you want to call the phone number, the phone number is right up there. Uh, if you don't want all to see you, uh, call the phone number as well. Uh, let's continue the discussion here. Let me see how much more time do I have here. Oh, I can't believe I already spent two hours. I normally don't like to spend more than two hours. Uh, so I think uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we are going to end up here. Uh, sorry, uh, Camp 72. Uh, like we said. This platform, but the video or the documentary, uh, we will we will show it tomorrow. Let me just uh, get you the audio version of Camp Seventy Two. Percent sister on a terrifying journey. No part of the road that you are passing, you won't see him lying dead. No part. Where the children city here from. That one we were placed and locked up in here. They took us into a dark room. They put us there for three days, three nights. No food, no water, nothing. Gladys's mom begins strategizing for their survival. She tells Gladys to deny that she's their mother, believing this may save the children's lives. When the man came, he put us in a car with our mother. He took us on a double bridge on 72nd Road. He asked me again, who is this woman to you? I said, no, that woman is not my mother. Huh. She's my mother's best friend. So he said, okay. If that is the case, then I have to see it for myself. Because if she's not your mother, when I'm killing her, you people will cry. But if she's your mother, when I'm killing her, your cry will kill you too. That is just what.
All right, that is the documentary. We'll see that tomorrow. By the grace of God, you will see it live tomorrow. Uh, at least uh, we're able to purchase it uh, yesterday. We'll hear that other story again. And this is what this. Then something like this, somebody is telling me that let bygone be bygone. You deny your mother. Somebody forcing you to deny your mother. Giving you an option. If she's your mother, when I'm killing her, perhaps not even shooting. They will show emotions. And the moment you show emotions, I will kill you guys too. That's the freedom they brought to us. That's the freedom they brought for us. Okay, thank you so much for um, for today. I uh, appreciate your time, all of you that contributed. Let's hope that... As we continue to push for these establishments, uh, the creation of the war and economic crimes code for Liberia. I pray a good help for all of you that are pushing the bandwagon. Thanks to all of you that every post you see about these creations, you will either like it or love it, or you will make a statement on the air in support of it. Thank you. God bless you. You are one of them that's advocating for justice in Liberia. I salute all of you. And to all of these talk show hosts as well across the world, your voice is not being, oh yes, it's not being unheard. Hopefully next week, Monday, I will be live on Focus on Africa, talking about the uh, this creation as well. You'll tune in. Thank you so much. God bless you. And indeed, God bless Africa. And God bless Mama Af Liberia. I'm coming on. But when you hear it for the last time, it means my show is up. My time is up. To and I'm about to leave you. Thank you so much. All of you. Thanks for your contribution. Especially those of you that are contributing towards this particular cause here. We will get it. We are there. I won't say we are almost there. We are there. That's why they are coming out with statements now. Oh, yes. Playing tactics with us. I came here to support my people in defense of the people. I can't believe it. God bless you all, my people. Thank you.